Today we'll be showing how to use the Baker scale by making a soft roll dough. And we'll start by grabbing the number two labeled 11 pound scoop to measure out the flour. And then we grab the number two counterbalance. And then if we put that on, it'll level out. So what you put on this side, you have to counter, counter it by the other side and then we'll measure out the flour. We need five, five and a half pounds of flour, so we need to put five pounds. And when this levels out, we'll know we have five and a half pounds. So right now we have five, five, over five and a half pounds. So right now I have too much, so I'll scoop a little bit out. So you just go slowly until you see it moving again, like that. So I still have more flour and weight, so I still gotta take more flour off. And bounce it. That's five and a half pounds of flour. So we're gonna flour. Next it calls for two ounces of salt. So right here is labeled one to 16, and each one is an ounce. So if you need to get a more precise, precise um, measurement, you can use that, so two ounces. And like before, putting one on one side and the other on the other. So right now we're going to weigh out two ounces, two ounces of salt. So that's two ounces right here. So now we need eight ounces of granulated sugar. So balance it out. Eight ounces, we can just eat ounces and a half a pound. So granulated sugar. So right now it's even. So now we'll measure out the butter. We need eight ounces, so we'll move the, the weight out to eight. Make sure that you're able to see that both are equal. As you can see here, we have eight ounces. So now, we're measuring the milk solids. We need exactly four ounces.
as you can see there, is exactly four ounces of milk solids. And then next, me and my companion Trevor will be measuring three pounds of water at the temperature of 110. Exactly 48 ounces. Now we have 48 ounces of warm water, and now we have to take the temperature of it to make sure it's at 110. It's at 110 right now. So now it is time to make the dough. We have all our ingredients measured out. Ready to go. So the method we're using for this soft roll dough is a straight dough method, which means we add add the ingredients as it's listed. So we add the bread flour, salt, sugar, Primex, milk solids, fresh yeast, and then the water. So to start off, we get the dough, dough mixer ready. We grab the dough hook that corresponds with this. We put it on, make sure it's locked, and we start adding our ingredients. Our first ingredient is five and a half pounds of flour. Next is the two And then the granulated sugar. Make sure you put the sugar over the salt because the yeast won't activate with the salt. So make sure that's covered. The next is the primex. We substituted the we substituted the Primex with the butter. It is a, it's a fat, so the next is the milk solid. So now we add that. Now we add the three pounds of water. Now we use this lever to turn, push it up, set it to 12 minutes at one speed, and make sure this is covered. It's locked and stuck. Now we wait 12 minutes. Now we are going to the bakery where we're going to turn the fruit box on. Right here, the fruit box. So to start off, we always make sure right here is filled with water, and right now it is. And we close this. Make sure it's plugged in. We turn it on. Set the heat at around seven, and wait for that to get around. 95 to 110, and then we'll be ready. Alright, good. Set it up. So, right now we'll grab the bench flour, we'll put it under the mixers, and we just take a, take a handful, spread it around the deck. So, when the dough's ready to get proofed and rise, Put it on here and cover it with a plastic bag so it won't stick to the deck. And then we'll cover cover the dough so that doesn't stick on it. So now 
now we'll just we can flower our hands. Try to get as much dough out as possible. Now to make sure this is truly incorporated, we can knead it a little bit.